So often we do queries that uh, return duplicate data, and sometimes we want the duplicate data, and sometimes we do not. Um, if you notice here, study the products table in, in a little more detail. Each product has an ID, and the ID is necessary to identify each product. It's, there's a, a chance, probably not in this, this table, but there's a chance that each product, multiple products, could have the same name. And there may be a good reason for that. Generally there's not, but, but it could happen. But either way, the, we have this product ID column which basically uniquely identifies each product um, simply by a number. It's a lot like um, people in social security numbers. Uh, at least in America, we each have a social security number um, to identify us individually, even though many of us share the same first names, last names, and sometimes middle names as well. Uh, now, if I want to look at this chai, it looks like it's supplied by supplier number one, and we could go look at the suppliers table and figure out who supplier number one is. And it looks like we also keep it in category one as well. So we could go to the categories table and see what, what category that chai fits into for for Northwind. Northwind, uh, just a little background on the Northwind database. It's a fake database. It is a database for, I believe, exotic foods or, or foreign foods or something to that effect. You could, I'm sure, Google it and find out more detail than that. Anyway, notice the uh, category ID has, there's duplicate values in here, for example, two ones and a bunch of twos, because Chai and Chang are both in category ID number two, one, not two, sorry. And these all share the same, and notice that two it repeats down here, and so on and so forth. Well, well, if I select just the category ID, oopsie, let's select just, oh, come on, category ID, if I can spell it right. Category ID from products. Um, hit a five. Notice we receive all the the categories, and we receive many duplicates. In fact, this is not in the same order that we received them in before. So SQL Server took some liberties and and probably did some optimizations. Who knows? But now I have a bunch of ordered ones. Order is not guaranteed by any means. Um, I I can do some ordering. I'll show you in a different video, but. But uh, don't rely on any order to come out unless you explicitly ask for ordering. Anyway, if I wish to receive, I, uh, say I want to get rid of these duplicates. The way I get rid of the duplicates is I say distinct. And when I run that, now I have the distinct uh, categories 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now pulling the category IDs from the products table, this is contrived a little bit. Uh, I'd want to actually pull these values. In fact, let's do. Let's uh, select category ID from uh, categories. And notice I'm being very liberal on my casing. SQL Server, uh, it's SQL's case insensitive. Um, you could, I've seen it very common to do these do these in uppercase, the keywords and things like that, but it's case insensitive. So let's, uh, let's run just this query. This is a better place to pull the category ID from the categories because they're guaranteed to be unique. An identifying column is always guaranteed to be unique. But the whole point of this video is just to show distinct and that I can throw distinct on there to get distinct values or I can take it off and, and receive all the values.